The Ordinary Christian presents three missionary activities that any ordinary Christian can do. Hi everybody, my name is Jay Moore, and I'm the founder of the group, The Ordinary Christian, and the author of the new missional living book called This Little Light of Mine, A Journey into Missional Living. The Ordinary Christian exists to empower, encourage, and equip everyday Christians to live powerful missional lives that shine the light of Christ brightly in their part of this dark world. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three missionary activities that you can do. That's right, we are going to look at just three simple activities that you can start doing or planning immediately. These activities are so basic, so simple, that you can begin to do them immediately, resulting in God getting all of the praise and all of the glory. These missionary activities are based on Jesus' teaching on the Sermon on the Mount, where he said, You are the light of the world. Therefore, let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. These activities are simply doing good things for people in such a way they know it was prompted by God and as a result, thank God for it. Now with that in mind, let's get started. On your marks, get set, go! Activity number one, chocolate chip cookie prayer giveaway. That's right, I said chocolate chip cookie prayer giveaway. This activity is so simple. So easy and so much fun. All you do is make five to seven plates of chocolate chip cookies to pass out to your neighbors or co-workers and ask them if there is anything that you can pray for them about. If there is something they need prayer for, you go ahead and you pray for them right then and right there. Believe me when I tell you, this is powerful. Here's how you pull it off. Go out and buy all of the ingredients you need to bake your very best chocolate chip cookies. Make sure you use the original chocolate chip cookie recipe. <laughs> That's my favorite. Number two, bake and plate them using those nicely decorated paper plates. You know, the pretty kind. Number three, go door to door throughout your neighborhood offering the cookies or pass them out to your coworkers. As you offer the cookies, share with them that God loves them and you care about them, and so you came by to give them these cookies. Number four, as they receive the cookies, ask them, is there anything that I can pray for you about? If you don't know your neighbors very well and not sure what to say, here's a simple script that you can use. It goes like this. Hi, my name is, you fill in the blank, and I'm your neighbor down the street. My family decided we wanted to get to know our neighbors better, so... We baked you these cookies as a way of saying hi and to share with you that God loves you, we care about you, and to see if there's anything we can be in prayer for you about. Whether they receive the cookies or the prayer uh, you offer them, they'll know you came to do something nice for them and that it was done in a way that brought the attention back to God. You can do this weekly for five different neighbors each week until you cover your entire neighborhood. This is a strategy, uh, this is a great strategy for saturating your neighborhood with the light of Christ and possibly making some new friends to boot. Activity number two, make dinner for another family. If you hear about a friend, a family member, a co-worker or even a neighbor who has just had surgery or just delivered a baby, then go out and fix their family dinner. Chances are they won't have much time to fix a meal for themselves, and the thoughtfulness of this deed will send a powerful message of love to them. I highly suggest you include a greeting card with a personalized message from you explaining that this act of kindness was done as an expression of God's love for them. Activity number three. Provide babysitting so parents can have a date night. This is a wonderful service and ministry to young parents who are short on money and time. One of the biggest roadblocks for young parents to building healthy intimacy with each other is just not having enough alone time together. 
And many young, young couples don't live close enough to their families for reliable and trustworthy babysitting. Two ways this can work. Number one, if you are a young couple with children, you can create a partnership with another young couple who has children and trade off every other weekend in watching each other's kids. Or number two, if your children are all grown, you can offer to watch the kids of a different, some other young couple as they go out. Now, before you offer this service, it is best that you have developed a good and strong relationship with the couple. They need to know that they can trust you with their children. Trust needs to be built. Here are some things that you can do with the children that will help shine the light of Christ into their lives and into the lives of their parents. First, you can teach the children some Christian songs to sing. Two, you can tell them a good age-appropriate Bible story. Three, you can watch a good Christian children's movie with them. Four, do some Christian-themed artwork that the kids can take home and share with their parents. And five, in some creative way, express to the parents that your whole motivation for doing this is because God loves their family. So what are you going to do? You can use these three activities to get started, but don't stop with these three things. You can think of some other creative ways to do good deeds in a way that God gets the glory. So what are you going to go do this week? What good deed will you do that will let another person know God loves them? It's time to go and love loudly. Let me ask you some questions. Did you find this uh, video helpful? Were your creative juices ignited to think of other good deeds you can do that will bring glory to God? I certainly hope so. Check this out. If you found this training to be helpful, let me share with you another resource that's even better. It's called This Little Light of Mine, A Journey into Missional Living. I wrote this book for ordinary Christians who are not paid professional ministers to help them understand how to share Jesus with others and to shine his light powerfully and effectively. It was written to empower, encourage, and equip Christians to feel competent and confident in being a witness for Jesus Christ. In this book, you will be inspired by the story of two brave little lights who left the safety and comfort of their house to go shine their light in the dark world. You'll be taught five biblical principles for missional living taken from the Sermon on the Mount. You will learn the three essential skills necessary for a powerful missional life. You'll discover the three roadblocks that will try to hinder you from turning those skills into a lifestyle and the solutions for overcoming those roadblocks. And finally, you will be led through a step-by-step -step process that will guide you to develop your own personalized strategy for missional living. If you are truly serious about living a powerful missional life, shining the light of Christ in your part of this dark world, effectively sharing Jesus with others, then this little light of mine, a journey into missional living, is an absolute must read. Here's how you can get it. This little light of mine, A Journey into Missional Living, is available in both paperback and Kindle format from Amazon.com. You can order your copy today by hitting the link in the video description box below. It will take you to the Amazon page where you can buy your copy of this powerful book. Take a few moments, uh, click that link, and order your copy today.